The Ray Darcy Show on RTE Radio 1. Proudly sponsored by Volkswagen. Volkswagen Volkswagen.ie now, the Sound of Music at the Board Gosh Energy Theatre opened on Monday and the leading lady, Danielle Hope, who plays the iconic role of Maria von Trapp, is here to inject a little sunshine into our afternoon. Good afternoon to you. <laughs> afternoon to you too. Um, well, listen, before we talk about the show, uh, when did you land into Dublin? On Sunday and then we opened the show on Monday. So had a bit of an explore and the Board of Gosh is in such a lovely area because it's like, the is it called the Docklands, I think yeah. it's known by? I love being near the water. So had some nice chill out time Sunday evening and excited to and uh, it's not your first time in Dublin right no exactly a year ago this week I was here at the same theatre with Joseph and the yes. amazing technical dream coat I cannot believe a whole year has flown by since but it's a pleasure to be back and it's it's uh, it's it's been a busy year for you I know so let's first of all talk about uh, playing the role of Maria von Trapp uh, it's a big one as I said it's one of the most iconic it really is how did it come about um I guess um, the, the show was being um, produced and it's the same company that did Joseph and um, I went into the office and sang through all the music and, you know, just fell in love with it and just really wanted to be a part of this show. And it's such a special time right now for the the movie being at the 50th anniversary. Mm. So um, I think it was one of those things that you could never refuse really is to be a part of the sound of music mm-hmm. and the other big iconic female role that you played of course was Dorothy yes <laughs> and that's where I mean tell people remind people where your sort of the, the big moment happened for you um, the BBC did a search as they did for Maria the very first one for Dorothy with Andrew Lloyd Webber and mm-hmm. it was over the course of about three months and it was a live series and I um, was lucky enough to win the programme and went on to star at the London Palladium with the wonderful Michael Crawford um, in The Wizard of Oz. And again, that's another huge, iconic movie and show and part. And, um, you know, I always get asked, like, how do you feel those shoes? And, you know, at first they were ruby and now they're not so glamorous, but that's OK. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's that was five years ago. And, um, you know, now five years later, I'm being blessed and being trusted with another huge, huge role. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And when you first auditioned, you know, when you went for the, the reality show, had you been on the audition scene in London? Like, had you done the X Factor or Britain's Got Talent or anything like that? Or were you Nothing. in college? Or I was at um, sixth form. So I okay. was 17. I was doing my A-levels. So it was during all all my exam times and I kind of I was ready to audition for drama school to go and do a degree because I thought that's the next logical step that's what you do and hadn't auditioned in London hadn't done anything like that before so my friend was like go on this one's free um just go and audition and then you can come away and then you'll be ready for drama school and you've done the first one you're like broken the ice <laughs> um well you know lo and behold here I am now and I managed to go to arts educational schools in London for three months with like some of the second year students which was so fantastic because I really really wanted wanted to do the drama school thing and I thought it was really important and I mean you never stop training do you in any job you're always mm. a student for your There's entire always profession to learn. absolutely um, especially in performance um, every night you're learning something else so yeah it was a crazy experience but I've learned so much from it so because I, I suppose people and uh, you know and kids who like this you, you spent years trying to get to where you are and you sort of were catapulted into it absolutely and, um, and, and like you say there's no right path mm. um, for any job but especially in the arts because everyone's um venture is completely different and something that worked for me would not work for somebody else whatsoever Um, so yeah I think it's just about having that hard work and determination and not being naive like I wasn't naive in thinking that I've got the Wizard of Oz I'm set for life it's one job and then okay you're out of work again and you're just a working actor so yeah I guess just you just got to keep working hard the whole time. And is the world of musical theatre and, you know, the West End, is, is it as competitive as, you know, the, the, the music industry, the film industry, the television industry? The- oh, absolutely. Mm. And there's so many talented people out there. And I think you just have to trust that you do what you do very well. And there is not another you. I know you guys were talking before about we're all made differently. And, mm. and we are and we all possess very different gifts and talents. And you just have to know that when something is right, for you it won't pass you by and just yeah that it's so competitive in everything but that's just part of the job isn't it I think it's exciting and tell me with the sound of music I mean um 
it's such an iconic, as you said, it's the 50th anniversary and it's, yeah. it's the name. Everybody knows. Everybody knows the song Edelweiss and everybody knows, you know, I mean, there's so many, um, uh, so many big scores. Oh, absolutely. Which, which are your favourites, by the way? Um, to perform, mm. I think on in the show context, Do Re Mi is one of my favourites. And I have to call it a scene because the song is broken up by lots of interjections by the children. And it's the first moment that you see them warm to her and through music. And music for me has always been my biggest connection to anything. You know, you hear a song that you haven't heard since you were maybe 11 and it takes you right back to the moment like smells do. Well, I think being able to connect and form relationships through music is so beautiful. And that's what she does with the children. And then they grow to love her as a mother. So I think Do Re Mi is that first moment where you see that like, that light. Mm. So that's really important to me. And Lonely Goat Herd is so much fun. It used to terrify me in rehearsals because it's so repetitive. And of course, the yodeling. I mean, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> but now I have so much fun and the children bring so much joy into that scene. So those two are my... Okay. Well, what are you going to sing for? You're going to give us a blast of a couple of them. What are you going to start with? Yes, I'm going to start with uh, my favourite things. Brilliant. Yes. All right. Off, off you go off over there. Go. Your mic is, is set up. Myself. And this is Danielle Hope, uh, who, again, is playing the lead role of Maria von Trapp in The Sound of Music, currently on at the Board Gosh Energy Theatre. Great. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens Brown paper packages tied up with strings These are a few of my favourite things Cream-coloured ponies and crisp apple strudels Doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles Wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings These are a few of my favourite things <laughs> Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes Silver-white winters that melt into springs these are a few of my favourite things When the dog bites, when the bee stings When I'm feeling sad I simply remember my favourite things And then I don't feel so bad That is fabulous. That is the fabulous Danielle Hope. We'll let you catch your breath. We'll take a break. We'll be back in a minute. The Ray Darcy Show on RTE Radio 1. Now I'm talking to Danielle Hope, who is the leading lady at The Sound of Music at the Borgosh Energy Theatre. And uh, we just heard her singing beautifully there. You sing with such expression in your face as well. Oh, I mean, that's, thank you. It is a huge part of musical theatre, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I'm, you know, I, it's not just like pop singing where it's all about the sound. It's about telling the story through the music. So, And speaking of the story, I mean, as I said, everybody knows The Sound of Music, but a lot of people don't know that it's based on a true story and, and yes. a, real, a very real family. It really was. And it was a very real time in the world and um, of course the story is romanticised for the film and uh, for the stage production um, but these were real people and they really did have to flee Austria and um, it was a scary time to be uh, in that part of the world I think um, and the music and the way she coached these children was just magnificent mm. and at that kind of time to to find such hope um, in, in such a desperate time. Mm -hmm. So you're in Ireland now for the next couple of nights and yes. then what sort of a touring schedule? Is it pretty demanding? So we're in every venue for two weeks. So we opened here um, on Monday. So we're here for two whole weeks at the Border Gosh, which is great. Um, the, t the touring, like the travel day is your day off. So you're kind of moving. We were in Belfast before this and after Ireland, after Dublin, we only have three weeks left on this leg of the tour. So it's very exciting. I can't believe we've been on tour since January. So I can't believe all these months have, have gone by. can I by. ask you what age you are? I'm 23. 23. Yes. So what do your friends and family think of all this? I mean, you're gone quite a lot of the time. You're on the road. Do you have a boyfriend? Y yes, I do. And he's American and touring America. So wow. that's a little bit crazy because <laughs> we're all over the world. Um, but I guess you, you just make the world a really small place uh, when you do this kind of job. And my family appreciate that I'm there in spirit with them all the time and thinking about them, even if I can't be there physically. And yeah, it, it, it's tough in that, in that respect sometimes, not getting to see everyone you love so often. But it's 
worth it now. And I think in your 20s, especially, you just got to go for it and and figure some stuff out and have an adventure. Absolutely, absolutely. And is musical theatre where it's at for you? I mean, do you kind of have a five-year plan or...? Well, that's really funny. Um, I recorded my debut album in um, February in New York and that was based on this five-year plan that I'd made when I was 16. And everything that was in the five-year plan I'd pretty much done in the first year. So I've stopped trying to plan and hold on to things and just see what happens and be really open-minded and full of an open heart and just see what what comes next. And musical theatre is so, so close to my heart, but I love acting and I think telling the story and the characters is what excites me. So I would love to do film and TV and kind of explore those avenues as well. Brilliant stuff. Well, listen, it's been getting a great reaction so far. So uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank and you you're so sing, much. Uh, you're going to do another one for us. I will, in, yes, in, to in close a couple off. of yes. minutes time. <laughs> All right, well, we'll hear from you uh, very, very soon. Uh, we've got Danielle Hope now, again, who's going to sing us. What song are you going to sing for the us? The Sound of Music, the oh, title song. Why not? Let's have it. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> come to an end I know a star has come out to tell me it's time to go but deep in the dark green shadows are voices that urge me to stay So I pause and I wait and I listen For one more sound For one more lovely thing That the hills might say The hills are alive With the sound of music songs they have sung for a thousand years the hills fill my heart with the sound of music my heart wants to sing every song it hears my heart wants to beat like the wings of the birds that arise from the lake to the trees my heart wants to sigh like a chime that flies from a church on a breeze to laugh like a brook when it trips and falls over stones in its way to sing through the night like a lark who is learning to pray My heart is lonely I know I will hear What I've heard before My heart will be blessed With the sound of music And I'll see Gorgeous, Danielle. That was absolutely lovely. And best luck with the rest of your run.